And I don't know if just all of that tension from history just continues to build. And that's why you said even until today, we have this issue. But my question to you is, what more do we need to do or put behind us so that we can come together and unify? Well, we need to put aside the stereotypes that we have of each other. For those Haitian parents who thought every Black American girl was loose and every Black American boy was a thug, we need to put that aside. For every Black American family who felt that every Haitian child was a voodoo uh, believing, uh, disease carrying person, that we, do, we need to put our stereotypes about each other aside and recognize that we have more in common as Black people than we have that divides us. That's a conscious effort that needs to be heralded from the pool pits and on the radio waves and in the in the media that we both groups attend to. The message is not let's put aside those kinds of things and move beyond. I think we have been reinforcing some of the old stereotypes in recent years. The other thing that I feel will eventually help us with a lot of the tension and divisions within within the black community is in a marriage. As Haitian Americans married, Black Americans back and forth, a lot of these cultural things meld together. That's inevitable. We live in the same geographic areas. We go to the same places, generally speaking, and eventually, certainly in schools, I think the cross-cultural marriage and what have you will do a lot towards easing tensions between these two groups in the future. I see that happening already. <laughs>